Hi, my name is John Mooney, and I'm the educator here at Windsor Historical Society. Right now I'm sitting inside of Hezekiah Chafee's doctor's office. He practiced as a physician here in Windsor during the second half of the 1700s. Among the variety of techniques that he would have used to treat his patients was bloodletting, which I want to talk to you about today. Bloodletting has been used in medicine since ancient times, and doctors in the 1700s, like Hezekiah Chafee, would have been using it under the school of thought known as humorism, which developed in antiquity originally and was still used in the 1700s. Humorism made the assumption that the human body was comprised of four different humors, which were basically fluid systems. So those were blood, yellow bile, black bile, and phlegm. What doctors believed is that when you were sick, it meant that your humors were out of balance. So their job was to rebalance your humors, typically by relieving you of some of them. One way they did this is with emetics, which were meant to make you purge of different fluids. Another way was through draining you of blood. So, Dr. Chafee would have had a variety of tools available to him to be able to perform this procedure, one of which was leeches. Live leeches would be attached to patients to drain them of blood. Another tool they had were fleams, like this. It's basically just a small knife blade. A newer invention at the time, and to make it a little more um, less painful for the patient, was spring-loaded lancets like this one, which would make a smaller cut. Um, but all of these things basically did the same thing, which is drain you of your blood if you were being treated. Was this effective? No, generally not. But uh, they didn't really know that, um, and they, they swore by its effectiveness. Uh, very respected doctors practiced this very often for their patients, sometimes as a preventative measure when people weren't even ill. One, it, famous example of someone being treated for bloodletting is George Washington, who in 1799 came ill with maybe strep throat, maybe something a little more serious like that, but felt irritation and uh, uh, hard to breathe, and he called on his physicians who drained him of five to seven pints of blood in the span of less than a day. This very likely contributed to his subsequent death, um, so bloodletting is not recommended as a treatment today in most cases. It fell out of favor in the late 19th century as new treatments arose and medical studies showed how ineffective it was. So if you go to the doctor today, be glad that new schools of medical thought have developed and you would no longer have to go through the procedures that Dr. Chafee's patients did in his day. Not that it was his fault, he was working with the best information he had at the time, but fortunately, things have improved since then. Thanks for watching.